Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making Sweetheart Standing Gnomes. They feature two different shoes and boop, the cutest little outfits, boop, you ever saw. If you want to make them, stick around. As always, please let me know you're here crafting and smash that like button. So before we get started, I just want to show you the fronts and the backs and their twisted little tops. They're 15 inches tall standing. Again, we have two different shoe patterns for you and this adorable circle skirt. So to get started, we're going to get that pattern below and then there's two versions for this. So there's the sewn version and a no sew version. This is going to be for our YouTube channel, so it's the no sew version. We're going to put fabric right sides together and just glue the tip of that hook first. So you're making sure that, that no glue got in the middle. We're going to turn it all the way out, rub it between your hands if you need to, and then we're going to put right sides back together and tuck that hook inside. So when we turn this thing out, the hook is already turned. Right? It's just making it way easier than it needs to be. Now I'm going to clean up all that horrible cut job in just a second uh, with a little trim, but we're just going to hot glue hem that second side. And then there you go. And we're going to hem the bottom of the hat. Here I am just checking to make sure that nothing got glued together up there on the other hat. And then I'm going to hot glue hem the bottom of both of my hats. If you use a non-frayable fabric, you don't need to do this. You can actually just tuck it up and glue it while it's on the gnome. Okay, so now we're going to follow the no-sew bubble body pattern, and we're just gluing that long side together, or long edge together, and then we're going to glue each tab where indicated. And this produces a nice, flat, bottomed gnome. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to turn it out after that dries and we're going to add poly beads, no food products, and then we're going to add polyfill all the way up to the top of the body. You can see the little high top shoes over there. Before we get to those, we're going to add our hook. So you're going to take floral wire, make sure it's bent over at the top, get it all the way into the hook, and then glue it along that outside seam. So you're just going to follow that seam all the way around and just make sure it's tacked in there. Okay. So now we're going to stuff all of it full of polyfill, getting it even up into the hook. Now, these are the high top sneakers. The pattern is below. Well, you all asked me to show you how to make it with dowels. So here's the thing. You're just going to add a generous portion of hot glue to that. You're going to hold it there so it doesn't fall over. And then you're going to add your weight. I don't think this particular body style needs this. And I don't actually think that the high tops need to be... Um, used with dowels. But I am going to show you how to temporarily tack it on while you're building your own design and then show you how to actually mount it after we've built our clothing. So we're going to make the, this is just the pants of the jacket and pattern pants that I have in the shop and we're just going to hot glue hem that top edge only. Once that's done we're going to put our body onto the base. Generous portion of hot glue hang on to it until it's set and then we can use it to build our pants so here we go instead of the tab being in the back like it was with the santa gnome we're actually going to turn it around to the front you'll see look how easy this is you're going to glue down that little tab right there so i'm just making sure that it fits really really well really snugly and you once you have your um, pants all done you can actually glue it in the back as well but i just wanted a really really snug fit now because we just tacked those legs on we can just pull them off and it's easier to do that to make the pants again if i'm using the high tops and a bubble body or a sock gnome I don't put the dowel legs in there. I just put the gnome right on top of the high tops. I think it gives it a lot of leg already. So all I'm doing here is per the pattern, I'm just using um, a glue edge on the legs and then I'm just gonna repeat the other side. Now I didn't clean up the bottoms or add any trim because I tuck them into the high tops, but if you would like to do so, do that now. Clean up your edges or give it a hot glue hem. And now you're gonna pull down the pants. Don't try and go through the leg. Hold on, there we go. You can pull down the pants, create a hole, and get that dowel all the way through that foam core base, okay? Do not use any bendable core. You have to use something that's solid. All right, and then let that dry, by the way, before you pull up the pants, or you're gonna have to redo all of this. Ask me how I know. So we're just gonna repeat this on the other side, add a generous portion of hot glue, and let it dry before raising pants. 
Okay, now we're gonna make a beard with my, I need to replace my blade. And you're just going to cut the fabric backing. If you need a tutorial on how to cut faux fur without having any transfer, I have one for you right here on YouTube. So those of you who know me, I like to make sure I like the placement. So I add a little bit of hot glue right at the top of my beard before I make sure it's going to be permanent. So I don't like the look of this. Um, I think that there's just something missing. So I'm going to go ahead and add a mustache or a mustache depending on where you're from. So to make a mustache, I'm just going to cut, whoop, there goes my nose. I'm just going to be, cut a piece of faux fur, split it in the center, and then I'm going to notch the two middle pieces, or like where the middle is, and then I'm going to dovetail the ends. So I'm just basically not going to dovetail. Y'all, I'm wrong website. I am going to make a point with the ends, and then I'm gonna glue the fabric backing to itself so that no one can see that fabric backing when they're looking on the backside of the gnome or pick it up or anything like that. I like to have a finished product. So I'm just going to add the nose and the mustache, and I'm gonna decide which nose I like. That's probably like 10 minutes of my day is deciding which gnome noses to use. So per the pattern, I'm using the arms from that, and then I'm using any little hand you want. Wood beads, clay beads, mittens, doll hands, whatever you'd like. And then after I get everything where I want it, the arms included, I'm just gonna tack down the hat, both over the nose and on the back. All right, so now for the girl, these are the low top tennis shoes. Y'all love these. I'm gonna share these again. I'm just putting the dowels directly into the base that we made into the styrofoam balls. I'm gonna create another base again. I'm not sure that I would ever do this, but I know you all like this, so I'm going to show you. And then we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the boy and tack down. And then later we're gonna replace it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is just use the pants from the pattern to make her legs. And I just laid them down on the side because I didn't know if I wanted really thick ones or those thin ones. I just, I was a little undecided for this set when I started. It was a crafting on the fly kind of thing. So I just added a little bit of polyfill and then decided I liked the looks of the thick legs underneath the skirt. So again, we're just gonna attach the body and now we're gonna make some braids. I have an entire tutorial on how to make faux fur braids, so I'm gonna skip it and link that down below. But here we are, we have some very robust braids. I'm going to create an eight inch circle, and then I'm gonna make a three inch circle on the inside, and then I'm gonna have a circle skirt. Y'all, this is literally the easiest skirt ever. There's no zipper, there's no Velcro, there's no gluing. It's just slip it over the top and it's super cute. Can you imagine if you made this into like a poodle skirt or put a cute little trim on it or one of those little bead things that I don't have the patience to do? I put three little felt hearts on it and it was good. All I do is just slip it over the top. Biggity bam. Now we're going to add a shirt or a bodice. So I'm going to add a sort of a Marilyn Monroe bodice and I just cut a rectangle. And then I folded it in half and cut like a heart shape out of the top to make that. I glued that down to the body and then also glued the skirt to the bodice and then the bodice to the body at the top. There you go. I also flipped over, lifted up her skirt and glued that down. I made arms per the pattern and then I decided on my nose for her. I tucked up my braids, glued them down, slipped on the hat, and now I'm gonna put the arms on with the little hands. Again, anything you'd like to use is fine. We're almost done. We're gonna tack those down and be sure to secure the base the same way we did with the little boy. And now we're just gonna join the hats because we have wire in them. We just twist them around and woohoo! Look at that, all done. We have two different shoes, pants, skirt, adorable little hook together hats. What do you think? Get the pattern below, but before you go, let me know, would you make these? Do you like this style? I do. I like big booty gnomes. Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.